Happy Wednesday, everyone. Welcome to Atlanta and Company. I'm Kara Kinnear in for Christine Polara. We're so happy that you're with us through the midweek. And maybe if you're feeling a little down today, we're going to lift your spirits in the next 30 minutes. But I just want to say it's not just any Wednesday. It's obviously Veterans Day. So happy Veterans Day to those that are among the bravest, the strongest among us. We salute you today and every day. And we're going to be doing that throughout the show. So please stay tuned for that. I want to start with giving a little shout out to my late father who was a sergeant in the military. He was in military intelligence. And um, I often say it's so important to connect with those, um, your loved ones or not, that served our country and to hear their stories and, and to salute them, not just today, like we said, but each and every day. And someone else I salute quite often and also has a beloved family member that served in the military is someone who's joining us for the rest of the week for It's All Good, the one, the only, Crash Clark. Hello, my friend. Good hello, morning. Hello there. Good morning to you, too. Your father, your late father in military intelligence, he was a James Bond. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He wouldn't really talk about it, and he would say, you know what he would say, if I can't tell you about it, I'd have to kill you. So but, I was like, okay. But, but, but I'm telling you, that's the kind of stuff you don't ask yeah. any more questions. Next thing you know, there's helicopters above your house. But no, yeah. I'd love to give a shout out to, <laughs> to my father. And of course, my father passed away about a year and a half ago. But he was in the 8th Air Force uh, during World War II. He was a radio navigator. That is William Buchanan Clark, my father. Good looking young man right there. Boy, all of 18 years old. You talk about the bravest generation back then. And even today, I mean, anyone who serves uh, we thank them so much for their service and that's uh, and my dad uh, my dad's my hero he was a he was a tough guy so yeah there you go and you know what I think we're gonna keep this yeah, theme going very handsome. yeah well thank you hopefully it mm -hmm. runs in the family <laughs> <laughs> it does uh, all right would you like yeah, to keep it going crash we got a couple of special dads we did all right <laughs> Absolutely. We want to we want to start this off uh, our, our segment. It's all good. Start this off right now with another veteran. And this young man is about to turn 100 years young. That's right. A birthday on November 25th of this month. This is for Richard Sneddon. Now, Richard turning 100 years young. And of course, COVID has ruined everything for everybody. So unfortunately, family and friends aren't able to get too close and have the big celebration that they'd want to do. So the family came up with a little idea. Hey, look, let's just send him cards. We'll inundate him with as many cards as we possibly can. There's that young man right there. Well, they were just thinking about maybe 100 cards in the family. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> things just started growing. They've got a couple of websites out where you can send cards as well so that Richard can enjoy his 100 birthday and of course a father and a grandfather and a big family that all love him and want to celebrate 100 years young and of course we thank him for his service and we wish him a very happy birthday we do happy birthday richard you know um our atlanta and company family here crash they show up for these we often will have people sending us pictures on facebook with the birthday cards that they sent to people we ask them to send uh little birthday shout outs too. So if you do that, post it on our Facebook page so we can see it and uh, Crash and I will do the same. So very cool. Happy birthday. Yes. All right. What's up next, my friend? All right. Well, this is another dad going the distance to show his appreciation because his small son, four years old, has been in the hospital battling cancer, unfortunately. So this is, I, I love this because, you know, of course, we missed our Peachtree Road Race. It's coming up in November, but this man decided, hey, look, in the hospital where my son is, I'm going to do a marathon around the hospital, 26.2 miles. There he is right there with his young son. And, and this is amazing because they normally were going to do a benefit run, a marathon, to benefit the hospital. And this is for the Akron's Children Hospital. And his son is Andrew, and he's been in the hospital now for several months uh, fighting a form of cancer there. So his dad, instead of just doing the event virtually, like they wanted to do, decided to run laps around the hospital. At one point, his wife joined him for a few. You saw his young son out there cheering him on, wearing his mask. But he wound up raising $16,000 for the hospital. They started out with a goal of just $1,000. 
A lot of folks caught on to the star story, and there's Dad just zipping around the hospital, 26.2 miles. That is a long, long way to go, especially wow. in circles. So, yeah, he was showing his appreciation for everything that the doctors and the nurses and the folks over there at the Children's Hospital were doing for his son. I love that. That's intense. Yes, as you were telling the story, I was just thinking of, God, I hope he didn't get di dizzy. But, um, <laughs> no, it's so true. These stories, every single story is so layered. You know, they start out wanting to help someone who's sick, and then they raise money, and then they surpass their goal. And it just goes to show you, keep trying. You will end up not only attaining your goal, but uh, surpassing it. So we hope that uh, his son... Uh, heals quickly. Thanks Absolutely. for that one, Crush. All Absolutely. right, we got a minute left. We got a minute left. Let's do this one real quick. This is a UPS driver who has made some really special friends along his route. I want to introduce you to Jay. Now, when Jay makes a stop to deliver a package and there's a pup around, he gets a picture with the puppy. Jason Hardesty, 32 year old UPS driver out of New Orleans. He takes puppy selfies. He's got 100,000 followers on Instagram. Hashtag pups of Jay. It just started out as a little bit of a fun joke. The folks at UPS are behind him 100%. They love the recognition as long as the packages get delivered on time. And he has dozens and dozens and dozens of photos with all the furry friends in every neighborhood he goes to visit. That's pretty cool. Who doesn't love a puppy selfie, Crash? Absolutely. Take a picture of yourself the puppy today, my friend, because you would get you would get more than 100,000 likes. I know it. All right. Thank you so much. Happy Veterans Day to you and thank you for being here. We'll see you right back here tomorrow, Crash. Um, and if you have a fun or interesting It's All Good story, please send it to us on our Facebook page or you can send it to us on Instagram, email, you know how to find us. Uh, reach us there, use that hashtag, uh, It's All Good.